3.5, we're again asked to find the volume of some solid, uh, or it's given kind of a given by a lengthy description. And so instead of trying to describe that right away, uh, let's just start making a sketch of the solid. So say that it has its base in the xy plane, and at each cross section perpendicular to the, act, to the x axis from zero to uh, Zero between uh, for x values between zero and one is a filled in square. So it's going to look something, um, or filled in square one of whose sides goes from the x-axis to the curve y equals x squared. So we look at the curve y equals x squared, and we know that the height of the square at any point is going to be given by um, uh, by the height of the function uh, y equals x squared. that the solid is going to look something like this where um, shaded area here is um, on the is in the xy plane. So we want to find the volume of the solid so really what we want to do is integrate from 0 to 1. Uh, we want to integrate the area, the function that gives the area at of the cross section at x. So, but we know that um, the area is just equal to um, the area of a square with side length x squared. In other words, a of x is just equal to well y squared or x to the four. And the integral becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the fourth dx. And that's just 1 fifth x to the fifth evaluated from 0 to 1. And that just becomes 1 fifth. 